Hello and welcome to Buildings of Tomorrow. In this episode, we're talking about the digital twin for the construction industry. I'm joined today by Marcus Winterholler, the product owner of the digital life cycle at Siemens Smart Infrastructure. Marcus, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Please, let's start at the very beginning. What is the digital twin? Well, the digital twin, um, digital twin has its purpose. So there is no digital twin like the other. Okay. And a digital twin is always a digital representation of a real object or subject. And for buildings, of course, a digital twin of a building represents the building itself. So it has all the sensor information, all the plans, all the digital available information of a building in a digital storage and location which can be easily accessed by applications. Okay, so it's the, the exact representation of something that exists in the real world but in the virtual world. Right, you're right. And it's, always we have to see how exact has it to be for the use case you're building the digital twin for. And is this an idea that has been around in the construction industry for a long time? Oh yeah, I mean, you might be, have heard about BIM. So the BIM process is creating digital data from a building and it's around since many years. And uh, with this digital twin idea, uh, we just have a new momentum in all this, in this field, in this area. And we are not only bringing BIM data into this field, we are also combining this with real data real-time data from the building, from the building sensors. So when you mention real-time data, is this what people refer to when they talk about dynamic data? Yeah, we call it the performance digital twin. Right. And we have the construction digital twin with all the plans and the location and all this information we have on the furniture, on the floors, the rooms of a building, mm -hmm. so it's more the location model. And then we have products in there like tables, sensors, there we say that's a product digital twin. Mm -hmm. And we create the construction digital twin by placing products together to build uh, a building. And then when the building is constructed and live, we have an S-build model of this building. And then all the sensors become active and they send data to the performance digital twin. And then we have the trinity of twins okay. acting together. Okay, so this is the completion. We take some of this information that the BIM process has been collecting for some time in our industry, and we add all of this extra stuff to it to really get a picture of what happens at any one point in time within the building, as well as holding on to the information from the past. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. And thank you all for joining us on Buildings of Tomorrow. Please feel free to like, comment, or share this episode, and also subscribe here on this channel. We'll see you again soon. Bye.